Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This tutorial is how I create my galaxy tumbler. So I'm starting out with a already painted and epoxy black cup. This is because this was a customer mess up and I needed something to do with this black cup. So I went in with some spray paint from rust and just randomly sprayed spots. You want this to be as sporadic as possible. So if you have a can that is a little bit clogged or almost empty, that is perfect for this. So the alcohol inks I used in this tutorial were all from Tim Holtz. I used Patina, Glacier, Gumball, and Boysenberry. My favorite way to apply the alcohol inks to these galaxy tumblers is to just use a old makeup sponge. So I just take a little bit of the alcohol ink and put a drip on the white spot and then just dab it with the makeup sponge. There's not too much technique that goes into this. You kind of just play around with it until you get a look that you like. So I'm just going to let this play through and let you guys watch. You should get something that looks a little bit like this. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once your alcohol inks are dry, you can go ahead and do your first layer of resin over top of them. Uh, for this layer, I used Facet from CCDIY, and I let that dry for about four hours before I went into my next step. Always make sure you are using your torch to pop any bubbles. It is such a lifesaver. So after I let my coat of facet dry for about four hours, I mixed up some artist resin from CCDIY. And the reason for using the just artist resin and not uh, using facet for this is because when you're working with any type of epoxy pigment or any kind of additive at all, you want to make sure you have time to work with it. So whenever I do a technique like this with additives in my epoxy, I always use artist resin. I used the white epoxy pigment from Armor Art. You can get that from CCDIY as well. And I just mixed up a tiny bit that I poured from my mixing cup of artist resin. So first you're gonna wanna lay down a layer of epoxy because you want your epoxy pigment to move. Once you get that all smoothed out, you are ready to add the white little lines here. I'm not really sure what to call them, like a Milky Way type effect, I guess. <laughs> And I just took that on a popsicle stick and randomly added lines in the direction I wanted them to go. Sometimes I struggle with these, so I kind of had to play around with it a little bit. I just go in and put the lines in. I rub them a little bit with my finger, heat them up with a heat gun, and just play around with it until I like it. So again, I'm going to let it play through so you guys can watch and see what I did.
once you get your little Milky Way streaks to a point that you like, I just let that spin for a little bit and then go in with my glitter. So for this, I use Twilight from Glitiful. It is so beautiful for this cup. It's purple, it's got little star chunky pieces in it, and it is amazing. I love it so much. So I just sprinkle this mainly on the little white Milky Way streaks. I also put a little bit just randomly throughout the cup, so it look, kind of looks like a galaxy. After that layer of epoxy spins for about 8 to 10 hours, you are ready for your next layer. And for this layer, I went in with a layer of fast set. This layer is just to cover up the glitter pieces so it dries really fast and then you're able to sand and move on to the next step. That's why I love fast set so much. That layer of fast set pretty much covered everything I needed it to cover so then I was ready for my decal. So I got the Moon Phases SVG in a bundle from Creative Fabrica. I will have a link for that down below. And the words I just created myself using the font Berlin Spark in the Fonto app. I'll have a link for the font as well down below. After I added the decal, I decided I wanted to add another little element, so I went in with some silver foil flakes. I got them from mycraftsource.com, but you can get them pretty much anywhere. And I just took a thin little paintbrush and dipped it in some Mod Podge in some random spots and put that on the cup. It made it super pretty. I'm obsessed with foil flakes in any color, so you're probably going to see me use them a lot here on my channel. So once your Mod Podge dries underneath your foil flakes, you are ready for your final layer of epoxy. Of course, you're going to want to epoxy till smooth, sand anything if you need to sand it. I didn't need to do too much on this cup. Um, I did have an issue with some gnats though. Two gnats got in this cup when it was on its final layer, so I did have to sand those down and put another layer on. But, but after that, it was complete. And Here it is once it's finished. I hope you guys love this tutorial. I love this cup. I actually made it for the first time with a Harry Potter decal for my best friend and I had to recreate it with this Moon Phase SVG. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys recreate this, please tag me on Instagram or TikTok and I'll see you guys soon.